Yo, what is up everybody? This is Abromanari. And we are back with the Indian Conquest of 1960. Looks like we're starting at um, round 49. Kind of got to remember where I was and what I was doing. Definitely need to build more nukes. You always need more. You can never have enough nukes. India will not be signing the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Act because we are going to pump nukes out. Looks like we're almost to New York so we can... Look at all those ships. That whole first line is probably going to be taken out pretty quick. They're already pretty beat up. So this weekend, man, i seen some crazy shit. I don't know how many of you guys watch uh, Mixed Martial Arts, but Bellator had an event in England, and it was like the English fighters versus, you know, other fighters from around the world. But there was this guy, his name is, um, well, he's my MVP, but his real name is, I'll have to look, I keep forgetting it, Michael Venom Page. And, uh, after he won, he ran over to the fucking... Well, he knocked this guy out. He ran over to the fence and got a fucking Pokemon hat and a Pokeball. Then he sat there and he rolled the Pokeball at the guy he had knocked out, which was still laying on the ground. It was, it was pretty fucking funny. But what was even more crazier than that was the guy he knocked out. He really didn't knock him out. He caved in the front of his fucking skull. No shit, the guy came in and he caught him with a flying um, knee. And if you guys watch MMA, it's weird to see somebody go down in pain from a head kick or punch. You know, I've seen him go down from like a, a body kick in pain, but either you're knocked out or you're not, you know. Or you get wobbly and you're kind of out of it. This guy just went down grabbing his head, so it was kind of like I thought he had broken an orbital or something, an orbital socket. But, and I didn't think anything of it because, you know, they cut away and those are commercials and they come back and he's gone or whatever. Well, today I see that his skull's fractured. It caved in the front of his skull. And he has to have, like, surgery here in the States. And, um, he has brain swelling. It's pretty crazy. If you want to go look at the pictures, his name is Cyborg Santos. And he's married to Chris, Christina, is it? Or Chris, it's Cyborg Santos, too. And she's a woman MMA fighter. But yeah, check out those pictures. It's crazy. There's, there's an actual indentation in his forehead. And then they have the x-rays where you can see his whole fucking front of his skulls all fractured into pieces. I mean, he literally could have fucking died right there in the ring. Which is insane that that guy generated so much force from a flying knee. I mean, I don't know how much force it takes to crack a man's skull, but it's a fucking lot. And these, these guys aren't heavyweights either, or even light heavyweights. I don't even think they were... I, I, don't, I don't think they were even middleweights. Because this black dude... Was pretty skinny, and the cyborg Santos guy was was bulky, but he was short. I don't remember the weight class they were in. But I am kind of curious, so I'm gonna look real quick. Like he is in a little crap. Looks like they fight in both middleweight and welterweight, so that's not gonna help. I'm gonna have to look a little deeper. Um Alright, it looks like the bout was at one seventy. That was his weight at the time of the bout, which is a Walter weight. So there you have it.
Throw down a little bit of strategic bombing, which appears to be more like carpet bombing. Speaking of that, that reminds me of a point in time during the Vietnam War where carpet bombing the enemy was actually fucking outlawed because it was deemed to get this guy's too fucking destructive. Yeah, who, th who could have thought during war bombing was destructive? I mean, I can't, e I can't even believe that shit. I understand chemical weapon bans and shit like that. I think chemical weapons are, f are pussy. It's a pussy way to fight. But to bomb, carpet bomb, I mean, they weren't even carpet bombing cities. They were just bombing, you know, trails and shit. Carpet bomb, I mean, it just doesn't make fucking sense. And it was like the only way that they could um, counteract these tunnel systems, or these trench systems, was to carpet bomb. The same with the Ho Chi Minh Trail. I mean, the only real way you could really devastate it was through carpet bombing. And they weren't allowed to. I, I think eventually it, that was overturned and they were allowed to start bombing again using carpet bombing, but I don't know. Way to fight a war with one hand tied behind your back. So, oh, something else really fucking cool, and this happened. It was in Wichita, Kansas. And they restored a B-29. It's only the only one of two that are actually flyable. And I guess it was a 16-year project. And they just flew it this weekend and I didn't know about it. I hadn't seen it on the news and I missed it. All I got to see was the videos of it. And I was pissed. Because I really would have loved to have seen that. That would have been badass to see a B-29 take off. Yeah, it had an engine problem so it had to land quicker than, you know, it was scheduled to. But it, it was some kind of glitch in the, in the engine. I don't know. It wasn't like a major problem. It was something, you know, they could just fix real quick. But anyways, yeah, I was so pissed off at myself for missing out on that. That was really a pisser. And it's just like, what the fuck was I doing? You know, obviously, I think I was watching like, like all the national news channels. Instead of local with like the, um, the turkey coup going on, I wasn't paying attention to local news. So I, I missed out on that. But yeah, I, I mean, I don't live that far away from where it went place, where where it went place, where it went down or took place. But I guess the other one's in Arizona. The name of the plane's Doc, if you want to like look it up, check it out. They had it looking nice. I mean, th this B-29 was pimp. All they needed were some subs and some neon lights. They needed to they needed to put a lift system on the fucking rims. Hydraulics. I get rather relieved, let's say. Be when when this long journey across the Atlantic is about to end. I get a little bit excited because I know it's it's getting really close to the end. Because you know what happens when you get in New York. Then you can nuke. With the uh, bombers. And so that gives you pretty much the whole East Coast just pretty quickly. So I talked about, um, in my last video, how I was doing a alien conquest with a three-star country just to, like, you know, check to see how fast it would go because the Egypt one went so slow. I wanted to see how fast I could do it with a three-star country. Well, it turns out a lot faster. It's going a lot quicker. I picked China and it's just been so much easier than picking Egypt. 
I mean, I haven't got it completely done, but I've got past the, uh, the initial rush I talk about in the Alien Conquest after, like, all the other countries fall, and then you just get bum-rushed by all the, uh, ships that they had fighting those battles, and, I mean, and like I said, e even in the Egypt one, if you can hold off and you can survive that first rush you get after the other countries fall, you're good. You can beat the game. But it's definitely that first rush that's the biggest pain in the ass. You basically just gotta survive that and attack and get enough towns that by the time that happens you can at least put down two artillery, hopefully three, and put down two to three each turn at least. Because that initial rush will eat up two, or two artilleries a turn probably. So you need to at least stay static with two and hopefully be able to put out three. And they're 200 a pop, so you gotta be making 600 a round. Which is not that hard to get, especially when you're a three-star country. Now with Egypt, it was, it was a pain in the ass. First of all, they're one-star country. Second of all, they're not around any large city that really adds a lot to your um, round income. So it wouldn't be a video if I didn't say something about Pokemon Go, would it? So, my town that I live in is having this big Pokemon Go gathering coming up the 20... Oh shit, I don't know. 20... 20... It's probably this weekend. So that'd be like 23rd or maybe the 22nd. Yeah, but they're having a big Pokemon gathering downtown. So that should be pretty interesting. I don't know if I will go, even though I'm within five minutes of walking distance. I'm not sure I will be there. Now, what is going on right here is almost a better question than that, because... Okay. I was wondering what the, what the what was going on. I thought the game had froze or something. So yeah, Pokemon Go. Am I hooked on it yet? No, I'm still not. Am I addicted to it? No, I'm still not addicted to it. It's just something fun to do. It's not addicting to me. If you're totally against it, and I know some people are, you would actually probably enjoy the aspect of just walking and doing it. But I know like a big hacker group, Poodle Corp, took it down the other day. Or might have been... This weekend, Friday, maybe Thursday, I don't remember, but apparently they put on their Twitter that was just basically a little taste that they're planning on something a lot bigger. They hit it up with a fucking DDoS, which is basically just flooding the fucking server till it crashes. But I did notice on the day they did it, that was Saturday, I noticed it was down. I mean, I'm sure people were fucking crying. I was just, gosh oh, shit. Went and played some Clash Royale. Well, luckily I'm already getting a, a pretty good head start on Brisbane here. Because you know it takes a while with the crappy units you get. You know what, uh, I don't know why I just don't build a bunch of... Like, um... Tanks in Darwin. I mean, you could buy... You could build the, the light tanks. I mean, an army of those are pretty good. Or even the artillery. It, that is if you started your attack on Brisbane early. Because you know artillery only moves one tile. But it's looking like a good place to stop. I had to make this a little bit longer to make it only two more videos. Well, we made it through another video, guys. Thanks for sticking around and seeing it through. If you like this content, slap the shit I like and subscribe, and I guarantee 
I will be back for another video. Peace.